Alrighty guys, we have our VR Clubby giveaway on the hoist. We're gonna do a few cheeky mods to it. One is making it a little bit louder and change the exhaust tips. We'll lower it a bit more and give it a bit more stance. It sits good, but uh, not good enough. We'll see how she sounds now and then we'll do a, an after video. So we'll, we'll get Corey to fire it up and we'll try to do a before and after. It is pretty loud, especially when it's on throttle, but we just want a little bit deeper on, on idle. So we might do a, just a rear muffler delete. We'll just see, um, we'll pull the rear muffler off, see how it sounds then, and then we'll, um, see, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so we've got the clubby off on the hoist and um, here's the system. It looks like a hurricane system, whether it's custom and it's just got hurricane mufflers and cats, but um, it's pretty nice, nicely made. Got the high flow cats, twin system, twin two and a half into, the offset hurricane mufflers and then we get up to the back and we've got the rear muffler there i think it's pretty loud as it is it's not stupidly loud it's not obnoxious but i think for what we want to achieve we're just going to remove the rear muffler today we'll pull it off we'll fire it up see what it sounds like and then if we're happy with that we'll just dock out the muffler and put some straight pipe through and we'll change those tips put some nice droopies on it and get looking in Had a red back rear muffler on it. Looks like it might have been a custom exhaust. Oh yeah. That's mint. Yep. Alrighty, so we just bridged the two pipes with a bit of rod just so we can um, dock the muffler out keep everything in position so we don't have to change the mounts and all the bends. We'll cut the mufflers out now, muffler out and we'll hopefully retain its position. The tips are straight tips at the moment. I think they're, yeah, they're three inch. We're gonna go three inch again, but um, with a bit of a droop on them. I reckon they look pretty good with the rear bar, so look forward to seeing it all done. Cut the rear muffler section. We docked the muffler out and we kept the two ends so we don't have to adjust too much. We've put the tailpipe section on. It's just floating at the moment, but mounted to the same, same hanger point. And we've bolted the other section back up to the cat back. So we've retained the flanges and all the bends. It just saves, saves a lot of time and, and mucking around trying to gap it all. So we've just got a floating two piece section now we've got to join up. Get that tack welded in and then we'll, um, we'll start setting up these tips while um, Corey's working out all our heights for the tips. Our springs have just arrived, so I might start taking them out and getting the uh, getting our low on. Just a quick update. Rear springs have changed, putting the wheels back on on the back. And Corey's just mucking around a bit with his section piece. It's a bit tricky because the um, the droopy pipes dump lower than the in the bar compared to the straight ones we were on it. So playing with a bit of angles here and trying to raise up the back hanger so we can get them tucked right up nice near the bar. We've done it the easy way, but I think there's still a little it's, bit of figuring it's, it's out. It's turned out the hard way. It's turned out the hard way. Corey's on the ruler now, so he's down in business. It's going to work. Yeah, it'll work. I just got. I'm trying to get it like the right depth out. We'll keep going, I'll get the front springs out and um, change them over in the strut and Corey will start tacking the exhaust together and see how we go. We'll just, um... I think it's only fair you wear tough streeters, mate. You're in a transition from Kiva Reeds to tough streeters, I reckon. Oh, no, I think you prefer these cars. Come on, tell me it's not sexual. I reckon it's only suitable that the mechanic wears a tough streeters top. Ooh. What do you reckon? What, Baxter? <laughs> 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 Just got to go for a bit of a drive to settle it, but I think it'll tuck, maybe tuck the top of the rim. We want to tuck rim or tyre only? It's the lowest you can get, otherwise we're chopping them. Chop it. <laughs> can't chop these springs. <laughs> They're IRS. Yeah, you can if they want to. No, you can't because they, they're actually sitting there. Yeah, they locate. Well, I'll, play, I'll chop a middle one out and just weld them together. <laughs> Alright, so the tips, tack welded on. We're just doing a 
check with the um, the bar curvature. I think it looks pretty alright. Alright. So the front springs are finally in. I'm just going to drop the hoist down so we can load up the, the front struts and tighten up the bolts and we'll see how low she sits. It's going to settle a bit once we drive it, but I think it's going to be slammed. Oh yes, that's what we want. So this is our new tail section, just ready to get welded up. Corey over here is going to finish off the welding. I'm um, done and dusted for the day, but look forward to taking this thing for a spin once it's all done. Come in this morning, Corey's finished off the exhaust last night. Um, I left that to him because he's the expert on the welder. Corey's the man. He's the man for, the, uh, for everything. Let's give it a cold start and see what it sounds like. I'll take you around to the back so you can get a listen, but... Um, I'm happy with that. The notes just, oh, it's, it's quite a bit louder, but um, it's it's nice. It's it's gonna give it that rumble when you roll up at the lights next to someone. And he's done a sick job on the tips. It's not easy trying to trying to get the tips right on the hoist. You gotta drop it to the height of the car, do the, car, the way the car sits and then line it up and double check that, you know. And if you've tacked it at the wrong spot, then you're gonna bloody break the welds and start again. So Corey's done a good job. The tips look sweet, happy with that. I'm uh, happy with the note, so happy days. Um, we'll do a little vid of it on the road so you can hear it properly. There you have it guys, that's just a quick quick short vlog on the on the exhaust modifications and lowering the car, but um, we will do a bit of a detailed video on the whole car and we'll take it for a drive. Currently just getting a tray plate sorted so we can drive it. Um, we don't like to drive them too much because they are giveaway cars. So we will take it out for a spin. We'll make sure that the note is how we want it and let you guys get a good listen to it. Yeah, hope you've enjoyed it, guys.